Are you stuck on the screen which says iPhone unavailable and you're unable to use your iPhone? Do not worry because in this video I'll provide you the solution for this problem and we're starting right now. What's going on YouTube? You're watching Fixed by Shaq and in this channel I help you fixing tech related issues. So if you're into tech content, consider subscribing to the channel. In today's video I'll help you fixing this problem of having your iPhone stuck on this screen which says iPhone unavailable. This is a very common problem on iPhone users and I know how annoying it is. I personally have been through this last year, you're trying to use your iPhone but you cannot access it. Do not worry, in this video I'll provide you the fix for this problem but it's very important for you not to skip the video otherwise you might miss a very important step in the middle of the process and this might affect the process of solving this issue without any further ado let's jump straight into the tutorial so moving into the tutorial this is how your iphone should look like we've got in here iphone unavailable and probably after trying many times you won't even be able to see this try again message right here this is obviously not my phone it's just a screenshot that i'm using to showcase to you guys how the problem actually looks like so this is a problem that has a pretty simple solution in here but you're gonna need a computer in order to perform these steps right here and please note that this is something that you can actually perform on any iphone device so it doesn't matter which model you've got i've got an iphone x but if you have a different iphone device it's gonna work perfectly fine and also it doesn't matter which computer you have whether you have a macbook or a windows pc every operating system actually works pretty well. So let's jump straight into my computer. In my case, I'll be using a MacBook computer in here. And the very first thing you need to do is hop into your internet browser. In my case, I've got a Google Chrome browser in here, but if you have a different one, do not worry, it works exactly the same. So over here, we're gonna hop into this website, which is I p s w dot m e we're gonna tap on ok to open the website and do not worry because i've also dropped the link to this website in the description box below so you do not need to worry all you need to do is just tap in the link in the description box below so over here we're going to choose a product or select our device in our case we'll be going for an iphone in here and then it's going to ask you to choose a platform okay so we're going to select which iphone we actually have in my case i'm going to select an iphone 6 plus because i'll be performing the steps on an iphone 6 plus as i don't want to reset just for the sake of the video my main iphone so i'll tap here on iphone 6 plus and then it takes a few seconds to load and once it's done it's going to show you a bunch of softwares available for your apple device so in our case we'll be going with the latest software version so you're going to search for the date in here this one as you guys can see 21st august 2022 is the latest version in here provided for my iphone these ones are older versions so we won't be going with any of the older versions in here so in order to download the software you simply need to tap once okay on the latest software and then scroll down as you guys can see it's gonna occupy me three gigabytes of space simply tap here on download and then the download as you guys can see has started it's gonna take you a few minutes depending on your internet speed if you have a faster internet speed it's gonna take you less than this but if you have a really slow internet speed it's gonna take you a while okay so simply be patient and download the software so that we can actually reinstall into our iphone in a few seconds so once the download is complete we're gonna locate our file okay so here we go this is the software that i've just downloaded and i've got it located here in my downloads folder okay this is the default folder in my case where all my files are actually stored so i would recommend you guys to simply drag and drop that file onto your desktop we're gonna move it into our desktop because it's gonna be much easier for us to locate the file throughout the process of installing it into our iphone device now next up if you have a windows computer you need to open up itunes on your computer if you do not have itunes installed in your computer please tap in the link in the description box below so that you can actually download itunes and install it into your computer i've left the link in the description box below 
Now, if you have a MacBook running macOS Big Sur or later software versions, you do not need to install iTunes as iTunes has been discontinued in the latest versions of MacBook. In order to check your software version, let me tap here on about this Mac. As you guys can see, I've got macOS Big Sur. So from macOS Big Sur onwards, iTunes does not exist, okay? You just need to continue following these steps. But if you have anything before macOS Big Sur, you'll probably need to download iTunes from the link in the description box below as well. Next up, you're gonna need a USB cable and of course your iPhone device. Now, make sure that your USB cable also transfers data because nowadays we've got a lot of duplicate iPhone USB cables that only charge your phone, but they do not transfer data. So you need to make sure that your USB cable transfers data in order for this to work. So if you find any issue throughout the process of installing your software into your iPhone device, if you find any strange error, the first thing you need to do is make sure that you change your cable and you'll try the process with a different USB cable because there's a good chance that maybe your cable might not be the one that transfers data if you face any issue. We'll now connect this end of the USB cable into our iPhone device. And then before connecting the other end into our iPhone device, we need to perform a few steps on our iPhone device. Now, once the first end of the USB cable has been connected into the computer, before connecting the other end into our iPhone device, we need to perform a really quick step in here that differs from iPhone to iPhone, okay? That's why I've got here two different iPhone models just to showcase to you guys how it is actually done. So first thing is first, if you have any iPhone up to iPhone 6 Plus or SE, for example, if you have iPhone 5, iPhone 6, iPhone SE, iPhone 6S, then first of all, we need to turn off our iPhone by pressing on the power button right here. And then you're gonna see the slide to power off option right here. I'm gonna slide to power off my iPhone. Now, while connecting this end into your iPhone device, you need to connect and press the home button, okay? You need to do this simultaneously and really quick. Let's go one, two, three. Here we go. I've connected and I'm pressing my home button right here. Do not release the button, okay? Just keep on pressing and boom, then release once the iPhone gets into this screen right here, which is the recovery mode on your iPhone device. Now, if you have an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, the process is pretty much similar. Simply press and hold the power button, turn it off, and then while connecting the USB cable, instead of pressing and holding the power button, you'll, you're going to hold and press the volume down button, okay? So simply connect while pressing the volume down button, and then you'll be able to see the recovery screen on your iPhone 7 Plus. The process is similar, but instead of using the home button, you're using the volume down button. Now, if you have any iPhone above iPhone 7 Plus, for example, if you have an iPhone 8, 8 Plus, X, 11, 12, like mine, or 13, or even 14, this is how it's going to be done. First of all, you need to press and hold the power button along with the volume down button, okay? Press and hold it, and then release them once you see the slide to power off option in here you're gonna slide to power off your iphone device and then we're gonna do the same step but instead of holding the volume down button we're gonna hold the power button okay so this is how it goes one two three here here we go i'm pressing and holding the power button right here okay keep on holding it until you see the restore menu or recovery menu on your screen I'm still holding and here we go. We've got the recovery screen in here on my iPhone 12. Now, once we have our iPhone in its recovery mode and connected into our computer, we're gonna move into our computer. And over here, if you have a MacBook running macOS Big Sur or later models, we're gonna open up Finder real quick and then we're gonna tap here on iPhone. You'll be able to find your iPhone device 
right here. Now, if you have an older version of macOS software, something which is really below macOS Big Sur, or if you have a Windows computer, simply open up iTunes on your computer, okay? So on this step, simply open up iTunes. And then you'll be able to give a look at a window that looks similar to this one on your iTunes software, okay? Over here, we need to tap on Restore iPhone. But before tapping on Restore iPhone, we've got here a very important trick that we need to perform. We need to tap and hold the Option button on your MacBook computer and then tap on restore iPhone. And this new window is gonna pop up on your computer. If you have a Windows PC, the process is exactly the same, but instead of holding the option key on your keyboard, you're gonna tap and hold the shift key on your keyboard, okay? Please do not miss this one because this one is very important. You need to perform this tab. Otherwise, you won't be able to select your software, which is already downloaded into your computer. Next up, we need to find the software that we have just downloaded from the internet. In my case, it's here on desktop and here we go. We've got here iPhone, da 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 da. So I'm going to select it and then I'm going to tap here on open in order to open the file and install it into my iPhone device. Next up, it's going to say that it's going to erase and restore my iPhone to iOS 12.5.5 and will verify restore with Apple. Simply tap on restore and then the process is going to start. As you guys can see over here, your Mac is preparing to restore the software on this iPhone. We've got here a message which says extracting software and all I need to do now is just be patient and wait till the process gets completed. So as you guys can see now, the software says that it's preparing my iPhone to restore. So all I need to do in here is just to wait for a couple more minutes while the process is actually taking place. Please make sure that you do not play around with the USB cable, do not move it around. Just keep it at a stable position because this might affect the connectivity between your iPhone to your computer while installing this software. So here we go, the restore process has started and this is exactly how my iPhone looks like at the moment we've got in here a progress bar and all we need to do is just wait till the process gets complete now please make sure once again that you do not try to play or move around the iphone device otherwise you might get your software corrupted so all we need to do now is just wait for a couple more minutes once the installation process is complete, a pop-up is going to show up on your screen saying that your iPhone has been restored to factory settings and is restarting. Please leave your iPhone connected. It will appear in the sidebar after it restarts. Simply tap here on OK. And now this is how my phone looks like. We've got a new progress bar in here taking place. OK, it's now on its 50%. And do not worry because now at this moment you can disconnect the USB cable from your iPhone device okay so let me quickly disconnect the USB cable from my iPhone device and now we'll be setting up our iPhone here directly on the phone itself so now the iPhone is loading and setting everything up so that we can actually use the iPhone as a brand new iPhone so all we need to do now is just be patient and wait for a couple more minutes so here we go, the progress bar is now complete and the installation has been successfully complete. So now we've got here the hello screen, which is that screen that we normally have when we buy a new iPhone device. And what we need to do in here is basically set up our iPhone from scratch, okay? So simply press on the home button, okay? And then select your preferred language. In my case, I'll be going with English in here, okay? Let me select my country or region, okay? In my case, I'll be selecting United States of America, okay? And then tap on setup manually in here. Now, next up, you need to be connected to a wireless connection or connected to the internet in order to reactivate your iPhone device. So here we go. I'm already connected into a Wi-Fi connection and now it's going to ask me for a couple of minutes or seconds in order to activate 
my new iPhone device. Next up, we just need to set up the phone by simply tapping and continue on all these settings in here. We've got Touch ID. If you want to set up Touch ID right now, you can tap and continue. In my case, I'll set it up later because I don't want this video to get even longer and longer. So I'll simply tap on don't use as of now. And over here, you can now create a new password. Okay. So let me just type in one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Use anyway. Let me retype one, two, three, four, five, six. Here we go. If you wish to back up data, if you had data backed up on iCloud or on iTunes, or if you wish to transfer data from an Android device into your iPhone device, you can use one of these options right here. In my case, I'll tap on don't transfer apps and data because I don't want to restore any data that has been backed up before. Now, this is one of the most important parts of the video where you need to log in with an Apple ID account. So over here, you're going to type in your Apple ID. ID account details. If you had an Apple ID account logged in into your iPhone device, the iPhone itself is going to ask you to log in to that particular Apple ID or iCloud that was logged in into your device before restoring the iPhone device. In my case, I didn't have any Apple ID account logged in previously. That's why it's asking me to log in with a brand new Apple ID iCloud account. So I'll tap here on set up later in settings because I don't want to make the video even longer by logging in into my Apple ID account right now. Next up, tap here on agree with the terms and conditions tap and continue, tap and continue once again. I'll tap on not now, tap and continue. Don't share as of now, display zoom, simply tap on next and welcome to iPhone. Get started and as you guys can see, now I've got access into my iPhone device and everything has been reset. I've set up a brand new password and now I'm also able to sign in into my Apple ID right now and the iphone has completely been reactivated and ready to be used okay now we've regained access into our iphone device i hope this video really helped you and if you really liked the video if this video really helped you do like the video leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel so you stay updated every time i upload a brand new video thanks for watching fixed by shack and i'll see you in the next one have a great day